narcissists and why we need to take better care of them. This is by Kostos Papayeriou, lecturer in psychology at Queen's University, Belfast, on the conversation. Now, this is human behavior and psychology. It doesn't mean I necessarily agree with him or that I accept narcissists. Definitely not in my life. I would uh, rather do without them. But let's see what he says concerning this type of behavior. Narcissists like sharks get a bad press. Both are generally seen as menacing, negative forces to be feared and avoided. That I agree with. And he says, but as any biologist will tell you, sharks play a vital role in the marine ecosystem. And it may be that narcissists also have a necessary part to play in human society. Okay, first of all, I have to go and tell you that a lot of these people wreak havoc in society. Really. I mean, they destroy families, they destroy people's careers, and uh, they really squash people under their foot if they have a chance to do so, as the saying goes. But let's go on to see what else uh, this lecturer in psychology has to say. He says, this of course goes against the widely accepted perception of personality traits, that it is good to be agreeable and outgoing and bad to be a narcissist. After all, narcissistic people engage in risky behavior, hold an unrealistic superior view of themselves, are overconfident, show little empathy for others, and have little shame or guilt. But if narcissism is so socially toxic, why does it persist and why is it said to be on the rise in modern societies? The answer is that human nature is complex. And while narcissism is often associated with dark traits like psychopathy and sadism, it also has aspects which are widely considered to be positive, such as extroversion and confidence. Okay, it doesn't mean that others who are not narcissists are not extroverted or confident. I, that I don't agree with, but let's go on to see what he says. In saying this, I do not mean to defend or excuse the worst examples of narcissistic behavior. Indeed, I want to highlight the potentially beneficial elements, which could then enable society to harness the positive potential of quote-unquote dark personalities, while also curtailing, curtailing their potential for harm. The best kind of a narcissist. There are two main types of narcissism, grandiose and vulnerable. Vulnerable narcissists are likely to be more defensive and view the behavior of others as hostile, whereas grandiose narcissists usually have an overinflated sense of importance and a preoccupation with status and power. The results from our studies on the personality trait of subclinical narcissism not narcissistic personality disorder, show that grandiose narcissism correlates with highly positive components of mental toughness. These include confidence and the focus of achieving goals which help protect against symptoms of depression and stress. And he goes on to say, the association between narcissism and mental toughness may help to explain the variation in symptoms of depression in society. If a person is more mentally tough, they are likely to embrace challenges head-on rather than viewing them as a hurdle. So while not all dimensions of narcissism are good, certain aspects can lead to positive outcomes. And a little bit of narcissism can be a useful tool when faced with a stressful situation, providing that extra bit of mental toughness we need to get through. It's a bit like having the ability to run when walking is not enough, the idea is that people need to be flexible. They need to walk when that's all that is required, but run when that's what's necessary. Likewise, the ability to call on a bit of narcissism when faced with a challenge, socially or professionally, is a useful skill. A bridge to the other side. Recent research from our lab suggests that narcissism may act as a bridge connecting the dark or antisocial and light, pro-social, size of human personality. Put simply, individuals can cross that bridge to use their dark traits when facing a challenge 
and pro-social characteristics when in a safe environment. Our, so, our work suggests that instead of perceiving human personality as a dichotomy, narcissistic versus agreeable, we should treat it as a constantly changing spectrum. It is not about promoting grandiosity over healthy self-esteem and modesty. Instead, it's about promoting diversity of people and ideas by advocating that dark traits such as narcissism should not be seen as either good or bad. They are products of evolution and expressions of human nature that may be beneficial or harmful depending on the context. This may help to reduce the marginalization of individuals that score high on dark traits and work on out how best to cultivate some manifestations of these traits while discouraging others for the collective good. It is too simplistic to say that personality traits like narcissism, which help individual empowerment, are socially toxic. People are trying to adapt, survive, and succeed in the social, political, and economic environment that promotes the, quote, self-made man or woman, end quote, and if they exhibit antagonistic traits such as narcissism, they receive negative attention. Yet grandiose narcissism may be the key to protecting individuals from such needless pressure. Nor do I think there are individuals who live without narcissism. In common with other psychological traits, it exists on a spectrum with some individuals scoring higher than others. Elsewhere in the natural world, a human fear and distrust of sharks has led to widespread attitude of us versus them. After the jaw, movie Jaws was released, according to one conservationist, there was a collective testosterone rush which led to thousands of anglers targeting and killing sharks off the American coast. <laughs> Can you imagine? You have to find them first. <laughs> Go out and find the sharks first. Now, shark numbers have dropped dramatically by up to 92% in the past half century. So just as we are starting to understand the importance of sharks for the marine ecosystem, we have to run out of sharks to study. We should not let narcissists be similarly marginalized just because we don't understand them. Instead of demonizing parts of our personality, we need to celebrate all of its aspects and work out how best to use them for our own benefit and the benefit of society. Okay, look, okay, you are a lecturer and uh, you're entitled to your opinions, Mr. Cosas Papa Yuriu, but I think you're taking this a little bit too far. Anyway, I'll leave links below for you for this on the conversation. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.